Back in 2011, I had just got done with a vertical jump program and I developed patellar tendinopathy. I had jumpers and knees. So I went to the doctor and they told me I need to rest for three months because the collagen within the patellar tendon takes a long time to turn over. So I was told to rest for three months and then come back and see if I was any better. And I was not any better at the end of three months. I was actually worse. So what is this idea? Why do we say collagen doesn't turn over very fast? Well, a 2013 study by Hennemeyer and others looked at the core of the Achilles tendon with the C14 bomb pulse method and found collagen doesn't turn over much after the age of 17. It is practically inert. Another idea is that tendons get low blood flow. It doesn't have much metabolic demand, so the regenerative capacity is poor. If you ever look at a photo of a muscle, it's often going to be red. If you look at a photo of a tendon, it's often going to be white. The blood flow is low, so this would support the idea that it's not turning over very much. But in 2009, 2018, Hennemeyer, the same Hennemeyer group, found that people with tendinopathy in their tendons had greater rates of collagen renewal than people with healthy tendons. And Keith Barr had this tweet. It said, for all of those who think that the protein in tendons and ligaments doesn't turn over, sorry, the evidence suggests that protein turnover in loaded tendons and ligaments is higher than muscle. And he cited this study, protein synthesis rates of muscle, tendon, ligament, cartilage, and bone tissue in vivo in humans. This study looked at the tissue turnover rates of six healthy patients. They were around 62 years old, and they were undergoing total knee replacement. What They looked at the synthesis rates of all of those tissues, and they found that the tendon, the bone, cartilage, hophus fat pad, anterior, posterior, cruciate ligament, and menisci tissue, they did not significantly differ from skeletal muscle protein synthesis rates. They were turning over fairly similarly. So you can see on this graph the difference between the patellar tendon and muscle tissue protein synthesis. So what does this mean? What does this mean when we're treating a patellar tendinopathy? Well, to Jill Cook, who supports treating the hole, it doesn't mean much. She seems to support the idea that higher collagen turnover won't result in restructure of pathology, and we should focus on the four-stage process she lays out. Isometrics to decrease pain, isotonics to strengthen the healthy area of the tendon, then store and release activities, then back to sport. But to Keith Barr, who supports treating the hole, treating the degeneration, it means that we can use more frequent loading to repair degeneration because tendon turnover is faster than previously thought. So whether you believe Joe Cook, whether you believe Keith Barr, you should be loading your tendons consistently, whether the collagen is going to, the higher collagen synthesis rates is gonna result in changing the structure. Um, who knows, but resting for three months like I did is not the way to go. That is not gonna result in positives for jumper's knee for repairing the patellar tendon. So try it out, enjoy.